What's up my friends? Welcome to the video. So today we are here in Providence, Rhode Island and we just left PV Donuts and we have this amazing box of donuts in front of us right now and I seriously cannot wait to eat them. So I wanted to film like a donut mukbang because a lot of people have been asking so figured why not we're up here in Providence and we have these amazing donuts in front of us. So before we begin I would like to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video which is Cove Audio. So this is their commuter speaker and I've been using it for quite some time now and I gotta say I really do enjoy it. It is a wireless speaker but also does have the option of using an auxiliary cord if needed. You know, if you don't have Bluetooth or wireless for your mobile device, then you can use the auxiliary cord. And it also does have up to eight hours of battery life. You can also be up to 30 feet away from your mobile device or computer without any play interruptions. It does have a bass subwoofer for those who do like bass. You can simply click this button and go from normal mode to bass mode. It also fits in all standard size cup holders and is compact for on the go activities. I was using it in the garage the other day while working on my car. You can bring it to barbecues, parties, you can bring it to the beach, you can bring this thing pretty much anywhere. So it's an amazing speaker. I highly recommend you guys check it out. And you can use my code ND65 to save 65% for this awesome speaker. So definitely check it out. It will be in the description box down below. All right, let's eat. So I'm, uh, hold on, let me take a sip of this coffee right here. All right, I, uh, I don't know which one to start with. They all look so amazing. And they're pretty massive too. Like, check that out. I think first I'm gonna go with the French Toast Donut. Yeah, so this donut right here is called the French Toast Crunch, and it's actually a vegan donut. So it does have a maple glaze and some French Toast cereal. So let's, uh, let's give it a try. Ooh. That maple glaze is amazing. Yeah, so these donuts here at PV Donuts, it's like a uh, brioche style donut. So it's kind of like a little bready. It's definitely good though. I'm a big fan of yeasted donuts so like the yeasted donuts they're they're much softer and they're not as like kind of like you know when you kind of eat sourdough and it's kind of like a little chewy that's kind of the style of these donuts they're kind of like i guess it's brioche or i like to say broche i don't know i just always say that by accident but yeah but uh yeah they're just kind of like a a bready type donut mm. And this one is 100% vegan. For all my vegan friends out there, I got you. <laughs> the maple flavoring is really delicious. Mm. And the maple has a really, really nice sweetness. Okay. One going down. Oh, and I do have a decaf caffeine because I am taking a break from caffeine. I like to do that from time to time. Again, I don't consume a lot of caffeine, but when I'm consuming caffeine every single day, whether it just be like say one coffee or one energy drink, I find that when I stop taking it, I kind of get like kind of headaches and like little like detox symptoms. So um, again, I'm gonna take a nice little break from caffeine and uh, I find that I feel amazing without it at all. But I do like, you know, having the coffee or or energy drink or whatever from time to time because it gives you that like, I don't know, it just kind of like gives you that awakened feeling and just kind of like focused and like gives you like more energy. But then it can kind of leave you feeling pretty tired later in the day. So we're well, basically a little crash. All right, for the next donut, I think we're gonna go for the Fruity Pebbles. Again, this is another big donut. It looks really good. So again, it's like that um, broche, no, bri brioche, sorry, my bad. It's like a brioche style donut. It does look like it's like a, a yeasted donut on the outside, but 
the inside. Let's uh, check it out. Ooh. This one's definitely softer and less chewy than the other one. I think the other one might have been a lot chewier and like a little more tough because it was um, a vegan donut. So this one is definitely a lot softer and very like fluffy. Mmm. Yeah, this one's really good. So it does have like a, a strawberry coating on the top that allows the fruity pepper cereal to stick to the donut. I think this one's gonna be my favorite. <laughs> We got two donuts down and four to go. I think next we're gonna go with this crawler. So this is a Kit Kat crawler. So it does have like dusted Kit Kats on top, chocolate frosted, and yeah, so let's, uh, let's give it a try. Ooh. Again, I'm not a big chocolate fan, but this is like, this is really tasty. I mean, I do love Kit Kats, and the combination on the Krella is a really good mix. Nice and soft, too. Very, very soft. Mm. Ugh. Woo. All right, and so I did come back up here to my hometown, which is New Bedford, Mass, for a memorial for my best friend that passed away 11 years ago. I cannot believe it's been that long. You know, that's why I always wear this bracelet. His mom is very like, she always has gatherings for all the friends to come together, and um, it really helps her just kind of stay strong, you know? So uh, yeah, I really cannot believe it's been 11 years since he passed away. His name was Giancarlo Garcia, but everybody would call him Mex or Mexico. And yeah, man, we've had so many good memories like growing up skateboarding together. And so just having all the friends together, we had like a gathering at the cemetery and it was a, it was a really good time. And so that's, a, that's the main reason why I came up here to Mass. And I decided to stay a lot longer to visit some friends and family and to also film some mukbangs and some wicked cheat days. So uh, yeah, may you rest in peace, Giancarlo. We miss you, brother. And uh, these blueberry donuts for you, my bro. So this is a blueberry cake donut. And it looks like it has like a, a blueberry glaze on the outside, which you don't normally see on like blueberry cake donuts. They're usually just kind of uh, plain on the outside. So let's give it a try. Hmm. That's pretty cakey. <laughs> Again, cake donuts aren't my favorite, but I do enjoy them here and there every once in a while. I think my favorite cake donut had to be from, oh, I forget the name of the place, but it was during the cheat day with like Nate Figs, John Arizari, and Cabrera. We went to this vegan place and oh, it was in, um, I forget the name, but I'll put it on the screen. But their cake donuts were crazy and they were 100% vegan as well. So uh, yeah, that, that was the best cake donut that I've ever had. But this one right here, this one's pretty good as well. Last bite. All right, so we do have two donuts left, one being the malasada. And then this one is the cinnamon bun. So this one is pretty heavy. It is a filled donut. So which one should I go for? We're gonna go for this one. All right, so this next one is the malasadas and it's basically like fried dough. So if you guys have ever been to like a carnival or like a fair and you see the signs that say like fried dough and they're kind of like flat, that's uh, 
that's basically what this is so we got some powdered sugar well it's actually like powdered sugar and sugar coating on the outside so it's again this is a pretty big donut too so cheers my friends oh wow that's extremely like sugary and buttery wow those flavors are crazy Hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to not make a mess. I'm eating over the box as all the sugar falls out. <laughs> I think this one might be my favorite. Right now, the battles between the Malasadas and the Fruity Pebble. It has a really unique buttery taste and that's really good hmm last bite all right all right moving on to the last and final donut the cinnamon bun this thing's looking Pretty tasty, it's pretty heavy. Let's see if we can open that up. Ooh. It almost looks like a, a cream cheese bagel. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Cheers, my friend, the cinnamon bun. Oh, wow. It seriously tastes like, you know those Pillsbury Doughboy uh, cinnamon buns? You cook them in the oven and then you put the the cinnamon, the, the white glaze on them. It seriously tastes just like that. And I love those things. Wow, this is really good. Amazing creation. All right, the sugar is starting to kick in. All right, we got a couple more bites. Mm. That cream is so good. I think we got two bites left. And the last and final bite of all these amazing donuts from PB Donuts here in Providence, Rhode Island. Cheers, my friends. Woo! All right. Oh, that was a lot of donuts. So it was only, well, six donuts, but those Fruity Pebble ones, the French Toast one, and the Malasadas, those are kind of heavy, but super tasty. I'm nice and full, I'm nice and satisfied, and yeah, that's going to be today's mukbang. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. It was fun coming up to PB Donuts because I haven't been there in quite some time, and it's nice to try different donuts from different donut shops. Again, you guys know that 5.0 is the goat to me i really do enjoy that donut so we will be back in sarasota in a couple weeks but until then i'll be up in this area filming some content so yeah i'm looking forward to it and be sure to check out the cove audio commuter speaker the link will be in the description box down below and yeah that's going to be today's video so all right my friends please like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video